Hey viewers, uh, got a day off so uh, I'm out uh, playing at uh, what I like to do and uh, I've been uh, thinking about the concept of less is more a lot um, in a lot of regards. Today um, what I've got sitting here is uh, another example of where uh, less is more and by that I mean um, the function of this frame uh, is simplicity um, personified. This is what's known as the uh, Roycroft um, pack frame and this is something that uh, was derived uh, by a fellow by the name of Tom Roycroft, uh, who was a uh, instructor, a civilian instructor to the uh, Canadian military, uh, Air Force, Army, uh, perhaps even Navy, I'm not sure about that. Uh, the point being that uh, it was something that he devised and uh, although uh, my Roycroft frames here are not uh, made from three sticks of wood from the forest. Uh, nonetheless, uh, they're low budget, on the cheap, simplicity, and I am completely blown away by the load that I can carry with this pack system. I mean, I am absolutely blown away by the comfort and the fact that I've carried heavier loads with this type of a frame now than I have ever carried in a rucksack, a pack frame of any other kind. And uh, this particular one, let me wander up a little closer here to the camera. Uh, this has been built out of three quarter inch PVC pipe and I've got uh, caps on the top, caps on the bottom of my two upright pieces here. My lashings are done with 550 paracord and uh, for uh, a good uh, little primer on uh, how to properly lash up one of these frames, um, I can recommend Bushcraft Bartons, uh, Mike and Josie's channel. Um, they're down in eastern Canada or central to eastern Canada, Quebec I believe could be wrong. At any rate, uh, I took uh, note of the proper methods that uh, Mike instructs um, in order to tie one of these things up so that your uh, limbs are not sliding. Uh, if this were wood, this frame uh, could be notched and some flat areas put into it. Uh, to prevent your sticks or whatever you're making your frame out of from rolling. <clears throat> but uh, inside here, I'm not going to show you the contents of the pack in this uh, particular clip, but uh, the idea behind this PVC three quarter inch frame is as follows. Uh, for the lower cross member, what I did is I took a heat gun and I uh, warmed the pipe up and then I put it between two boards and I stepped on it. And uh, I left it just a little bit open so that I can actually uh, possibly store things in there, maybe like saw blades, uh, <clears throat> something along that line, something flat. Uh, then for the other pieces of my frame here, I capped them. So they're hollow, right? Well, uh, my idea is to store um, some fishing tackle in there or fire making uh, implements. A small knife, a small survival kit could be put in here. Oh, it's the other one that I've got stuff in. Uh, just to sort of demonstrate that. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, we got a instant coffee. Um, got a glow tube. Uh, 
one of these little puppies you know so if you were to build this out of one inch uh, tubing instead of three quarter inch you could get uh, things without much larger diameter down inside of course uh, so I guess that's all I got in there for now just just to illustrate the point though that uh, it's hollow and yeah you can you can put stuff in there Now, here's another example of uh, something that's done in the uh, Roycroft frame uh, tradition, um, only this is just stuff that I recycled. Uh, I, had a, I had a rucksack that had these aluminum staves in the, the back for support part of the uh, load bearing system on it and I I took them out of the pack because um, I'm using it in a different way at any rate I had these two little uh, aluminum ribs hanging around and I had uh, a length of bamboo that's about uh, three quarters to an inch in diameter and just a little longer than from my uh, elbow to my fingertips so it was perfect length and hollow as well so you know you could hollow it uh, clean it up put a plug in it and actually keep things in there as well but uh, quite literally this to, to put this pack frame together from flotsam and jetsam from around my place it cost me nothing how I secured the top of this little frame together is just with a uh, wing nut and a bolt and uh, here's your your harness um, I'll throw this one over my back here I'll step back but uh, you know there it is and I just got my dry sack here I just grabbed something to throw in there to show you uh, the idea being uh, when you get one of these on your body this is going to be next to my back so if you've got soft items in your pack put them there make them protrude through the frame and that's what's going to cushion your back so at any rate, uh, let me just step back here a step or two. Just to get an idea. They are so simple. There's your two pieces of paracord, bring them back. Find the ends of that cross piece. There it is. That's on. And uh, the waist on the front, I guess, uh, let's just tie it with a simple uh, square knot. Because they come, they come undone easy. There. Okay. So you have a look at that. Now, whether I got 10 pounds in here like I got today or 100 pounds on here, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not pulling your leg when I say that. You're gonna load these things up. So, well, people ask, what about these? These cords are gonna cut into you. Uh, as your weight gets heavier and heavier, yes, they will. But, oh, I couldn't believe it because uh, Morris Kohansky and uh, other people that have done this system here uh, will tell you that it seems counterintuitive to put something hard right up here, right, right where your, your pectorals are, uh, about two inches wide, something like maybe some uh, thick bark, uh, some kind of a, a little bit of a padding there, but if it's stiff, actually what I did is I took a strip of cedar and I put it across here as a solid piece and I just kept putting more weight more weight more weight more weight on the frame and it was like when's this gonna start to hurt and it didn't and uh, well it's just an awesome system and uh, I'm glad I just had a few minutes here today to just just show you this um, 
in a future video what I will do is uh, I'll take the other one here that's actually done up um, with your your main bag being just a tarp and you load everything else in front of it uh, I'll do a, a load out on a pack put together like this uh, with what I go out with uh, if I'm gonna go uh, humping the boonies in the winter time anyways it's been uh, great hooking up with you all again and I'll catch you on the next video.